Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Now, this is a matter that's in your court. And this guy, Oliver Chesterfield, feels he was 68 at the time that the incident happened. These people that knew him wanted their bathroom renovated and they asked him if he knew anyone that would do it and he offered to do it for free. He said it was a gift. Now that word gift, you have to be very careful when people say that word gift because sometimes it, 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 it's used to benefit people in two ways. You can lend them money and they don't want to repay you and they say, oh, that was a gift. You gave it to me. It was a gift. Okay. They use it that way. Or they may say they're going to gift you something, but then they're coming back to get the payment. They're coming back to you because that gift was something that they want. It's like, you know what they say, unfinished business. They gave it to you, but it always remains unfinished business they want to get something for what they gave you so be careful with that word gift but getting back to the story this guy Oliver he says he was going to work on the bathroom gift and the lady let him in and he asked for the husband she said well he's not here at the moment and when he went in he violated her make a long story short he violated her this man is before her Wanda Blair is before her he violated her so he told her he's a he's a minister now see holy bible he's a, the guy is a minister so he told her not to tell her husband because it may give the husband a heart attack okay the news of what happened may give, may give her husband a heart attack and he says don't hurt me don't hurt me you know i preach in the church i lay my hands on people i i, I don't i don't preach in the church so don't say anything because he doesn't want his standing in the church to hurt him imagine that so what did she do? She didn't tell her husband. She did not tell her husband right away. She went to the polyclinic and told the doctor there and he advised her to tell, you know, the, call the police, report it to the police and blah, blah, blah. It was reported to the police. But the nerve of it all. And why would she listen to him? Why did she listen to him? Like your husband's going to have a heart attack. She should know whether her husband's going to have a heart attack or not. Didn't she know that? And then when it happened and the husband returned, he exited quickly. So did the husband ask her, well, why did Oliver run out the house so quickly? What happened here? Did, did, she, did she not show any sadness or whatever? The case is continuing. I'm just talking about it. But it should have manifested differently. It should have been told immediately what happened well in my, it's my opinion okay it's my opinion but how could he say to her don't hurt me don't hurt me don't hurt he don't hurt he that's how it is in the paper she, he's saying don't hurt me after he violated her he just violated her and then is asking her not to hurt him and his standing in the church man i i, I can't make this thing up I cannot make these things up. I'm not making up the news. I'm just telling you what's in your news. I'm not making it up. That is what is in your news. He violated the woman. Oliver Chesterfield feels violated the woman. And then tell her not to hurt he. Not to hurt him. Not to tell her husband. Don't say nothing. Oh, are you crazy? Are you crazy? But anyhow, it seems though this guy is a minister. Is he Bible there? <laughs> minister in the church and she did tell it's it's a matter before wonder blair so we'll wait and see what happens but i just had to talk about this the nerve of him the nerve of him don't hurt him do not hurt him after he ran out the woman's house after violating her do not hurt me <laughs> you know i'm a minister i just lay hands i just lay hands on people and you know tell them you're gonna go to heaven and you're gonna you know do this and you're gonna do that you know don't hurt him it's ridiculous it's actually ridiculous but that's what that's what was in your news this is sherry veronica